Shit. It was in a cup. It was in a cup. This man is naked with a cup on his genitalia. We did, we did not want him to come out that door. <laughs> All right, it's a good way to start a vlog. Yeah, Naked with a cup over his door. We don't! What the heck is going on today? I uh, hope this isn't a precursor today. It's a bird. He said it's a cardinal. Is it? Oh, there's a bird here too. Can I see it? Can I see it? I can't see it. Oh, it disappeared. That was a car. That wasn't a bird there. So don't, don't get confused. Me and Joey Quayla are, are currently in a, I don't know how I explain it, a storage place, a storage lot. You know what I'm saying? All these storage units. Uh, we're about to put his car in there. Uh, I'm trolling. All right, we're about to put, uh, not now, but he's going to put his stuff here from school because, you know, he lives like eight hours away and, you know, obviously his car is not going to fit all his school stuff in there. So he's like, okay, let's leave it here. The next year, come get it back, which is actually really smart. Um, I mean, I don't live too far away and my parents can help me bring stuff, so it's not really too far. But, um, you know, this is a smart investment here. He got his unit. That's his unit. Come rob him. Um, there's no lock on it right now. If you want to come rob him, come ahead. But there's not going to be any lock for the next day. So, uh, come get him. Y'all, I'm sorry. He got a key. He got a key, so there's no more robbing him. But if y'all want a ball, I have a ball. I'm not going to buy this. I'm probably just going to play around with this in here. If I ever go to Walmart and just start playing with stuff, I don't know. Like, I just got to do the ball and start walking with it. It's like, why not? But you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm trying to get more comfortable with vlogging in public because it's, it's extremely difficult. Like starting out, cause like, I don't want people to look at me weird, but at the same time, I'm getting more comfortable just vlogging and just keep talking, even when nobody's like, when people. Are. Like that's the hardest thing about vlogging, is, like walking by somebody, talking, yeah. and them having no idea like you're vlogging. It's like, why is he talking? But I promise I'm not crazy. I'm not. What, what, what's that should I get? Connor got this. I don't know, Connor. Kevin got something weird. Like face high breeze. Get the turtles then. Ninja turtle PSD I the I big sniff. This one, so we could get this one. The blue. I would get the wild cherry because I like the color red. Yo, I wish I could go fishing, dude. I can't even go fishing because I'm to fish and see all seafood. Never. Really? Never. I've never been fishing before. We used to get invited, but I never could because I was allergic. Because uh, I, can't, I can't even touch it. For real? Is yeah. That, is that bad? Yeah, if y'all touched me after y'all ate that, I would have broken out. I would have died, but I would have broken out. Oh, got to put it up. From three. I'm wet. Wait. What did you do? Pretty good. How did you go? How's your lips? Pretty good. Everything's pretty good. Oh, mm, should I spend money on a drink or no? I kind of want a sweet tea. You want a drink or anything? Can I get a uh, sweet tea? I, I didn't even think about it. I said, yeah. Good. Anything else? Yeah, but you cash? Maybe I'll get a pizza. Pizza? Hey. You know the bet the worst thing this is technically an above average of cap meal. This can't be considered an above average cap meal. Goodness. Stop. Yo, how y'all doing today, man? See, I've not heard that song in so long. I was not even supposed to play that song right there. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to play, play that song. When I started hearing it, I was like, this is going to be the song that we're going to listen to today. I love that. So I've not heard that in a long time. How y'all doing today, though, man? I'm going to come with that energy today. I think I've been I've been real calm lately, been real monotone, real chill. I'm trying to, I've really been trying to lock in. I've been going through, I'll be honest with you, man. I've been going through just, uh, well, not putting myself down, but it's almost like I've been telling myself to try, you know, it, it is in my quiet time when I'm by myself. It's almost like I'm telling myself that I'm not doing it. I'm not being enough. I'm not, I'm not being right enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. But every time I just remind myself that 
it's not about my works. I'm already saved. It's just about being humble enough to abide in him and allow him to use me. And when I fall short, as that song talked about, remember, he knows my end from my start. He knows my heart. And so what's important is to just refocus myself on the truth, which is Jesus Christ, and abide in him and allow him to give me the strength to overcome the sins that I may fall into, to overcome the depressions that may come to my soul, to overcome the pains of life and the temptations of life. Allow the Lord to use me. And honestly, that's a big part of what we're going to talk to you about today in Isaiah, the 26th chapter. I want to go ahead before we get into the verses, read you a quote from the Tony Evans Study Bible, which really caught my eye. It said, you cannot expect to have peace around you if you do not have peace within you. Romans 15, 33 says, now the God of peace be with you all. Amen. Now, one thing I know about that, it says that God... God is the God of peace, which means that God is peace. I'm writing that down for y'all. God is peace. I'm going to keep writing stuff for y'all. <laughs> God is peace. So, how does a man attain peace? If God is peace, then man must abide in God for peace. Worldly peace, man peace, is, is when all things are still and there is no issue. But the Bible makes it clear that peace is not the absence of the situation, but the presence of God in the midst of the situation. I say this all the time. So how can a man attain peace if a man have not God? They cannot. They, they can acquire distractions. They can acquire momentarily silence. But they can never acquire true peace because true peace is can get you through the worst moments like it gets you through the best. Peace gives you a clear mind and focus in the midst of a storm. Peace gives you joy in the midst of depression. Peace gives you the will to continue to walk in stillness. When the when the when the the for the the earth the very earth you walk on is it's shaking. Because peace is not the situation. It's God in the midst of that situation. I'm going to go ahead and read to you Isaiah, the 26th chapter, the first verse through the sixth verse. It says, on that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation is established as walls and ramparts. Open the gates so a righteous nation can come in. One that remains faithful. You will keep the mind that is dependent on you in perfect peace. For it is trusting in you. Trust in the Lord forever. Because in the Lord, the Lord himself is an everlasting rock. For he has humbled those who live in lofty places. An inaccessible city. He brings it down. He brings it down to the ground. He throws it to the dust. Feet trample it. The feet of the humble, the steps of the poor. And I just caught that last, that, that sixth verse. I didn't even catch that the first time, but I just caught that. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and let's talk about verse three. Okay, I want y'all to remember. <clears throat> it says, on that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. That's what verse one says. So all that follows is a song that we can sing. This is a song that we who have been grafted into, in, in, into the family of Israel. This is what we can sing. So verse 3, when it says, You will keep the mind that is dependent on you in perfect peace, for it is trusting in you. This is a song singing to God. So when it says, You will keep the mind. Who is you? It's not you. <laughs> and it's not me. We can't keep nothing we can't keep nothing because one th in, in perfect. We can't keep nothing imperfect to anything, let alone peace. Only thing man is perfect at is being imperfect. So who is you? Clearly, this is a song being sung to God. You will keep the mind that is dependent on you. So number one, if you want perfect peace, you see, God is peace. 
If you want that peace, then that little mind in your little mind of yours in here. See that little mind right there, little mind. It can't be sitting off to the side. It can't be sitting off under underneath his peace. It has to be sitting right on top. It has to be dependent on it. It has to be dependent on it. Our mind must be dependent on the Lord for peace. Because if we're dependent on anything else in the world, if we have our mind on a woman, you know what I'm saying? Nice little long hair, beautiful body, whatever you want. Whatever you want. If, your, if your mind is dependent on this woman right here, your mind never going to be at peace. Ain't no woman ever going to bring you peace. I'm going to be honest. Women, I love y'all, but y'all ain't going to bring no man no peace. Y'all know, man, I know y'all be on this butt like his mama. Come on now. Ain't no man going to be your peace, woman. You know, good and dang well, we be... Man, don't get wrong. We may look good, but man, sometimes we got moments where you might where you might think you're man dumb. I don't know. Men, men be a little difficult now. I don't know what we be doing. Because ain't no man, no woman ever going to be your peace. And so if you have your mind on your money, you know how people say, I got my mind on my money. Oh, uh her -huh, money is funny, buddy. And the second you die, that money is gone. So what I'm hearing is many people's peace is situational. If your mind on your money, that means that when you when you up, you happy. The second you lose a little bit, you down. One thing about money is it comes and goes. You can never hold on to all you have. Taxes come. Money got to go one way or another. You want to eat food, you got to pay for it. Nothing is consistent in life enough to sustain your peace. But one thing that never moves, never shakes is the Lord. So verse 3 makes it clear. You will keep the mind that is dependent on you. That's our God. He will keep our minds that are dependent on him in perfect peace. For it is trusting in you. So, not only is our minds dependent on God, what does it mean to have a mind dependent on God? It means to have a mind that is trusting in God. One that trusts him to do what he said he will do and trusts that he can do what he said he will do. So, in the midst of a storm, we do not falter nor do we fear because we know the Lord is in the midst right here. I like to rhyme when I say something like that. Y'all know how I love to rhyme. Because, I, man, our Lord is always there. We just have to trust in the fact that he is able to do what our situation takes. Because in the midst of our, our situation, it can, can get bad. Man, people are going to the doctor and finding out they have cancer in their body and they ain't never known that before. Our situations can get bad. And so if our situation is what we are dependent on, then we are screwed. We are in, in, in an eternal turmoil. Because, man, we can't, number one, you can't save yourself. So after death, our peace is in trouble. And on earth, Nothing is consistent, so our peace is always in trouble. But if we keep our minds on God, steadfast, focused, trusting, and dependent on Him, then it shall not falter. And if you want to know why God is such a trustworthy source of dependency, it is verse 4 that illustrates when it says, Trust in the Lord forever. Talking to you and talking to me. Trust in the Lord forever. Because in the Lord, the Lord Himself is an everlasting rock. And man, I know what the word everlasting meant, but I want to make sure I said, hey, Alexa. Alexa, you good, girl. I got the answer right here. I don't need you no more, so go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> right here it says everlasting. What does everlasting mean? Everlasting means lasting forever. It means eternal. Therefore, our God is an everlasting God, one that lasts forever and is eternal. Which means we can be dependent on him for our eternity. And we can be dependent for in him in our now. So our life now on this earth is one that we must entrust in him. Which is why verse 3 says, You as in God will keep the mind that is dependent on him in perfect peace. For it is trusting in him. So when we trust in him for our now and our eternity. He can keep us not only in peace, but in perfect peace because of our dependency in him. And it is because he is everlasting that we can depend on him because no man can do anything once he is dead. But God can do far beyond what we can do now, even in our eternity. So after our death, he has power over that. And in our life now, he has power over that. Jesus Christ showed his strength when he hanged, bled, and died on the cross. 
and overcame death by resurrecting on the third day. He showed resurrection power, the ability to bring that which was once dead back to life. And he showed it not just on another person with Lazarus, but in himself, which shows what he could do for himself, he can do for others, which showed that his reach is far beyond that of the flesh, but it is in the spirit as well. It tells us that when we die, because his flesh is going to die, as verse 19 says, it says your, your dead will live. Their bodies will rise, as in God's dead believers. When it says your dead, it's speaking to God. Those who have died during the body of Christ will live. Their bodies will rise. Awake and sing ye, I mean, you who dwell in the dust. It is because of this power. That the Lord can resurrect the dead. It is because of his power that us who believe will live. Because God's reach is far beyond the flesh. Because the flesh dies, but the spirit gains victory. Because Jesus Christ took the victory over death. So in our death, God is our peace. In our life, God is our peace. Because he is an everlasting rock. Which means that he is firm. Not just now, because that's a temporary or a temporary rock, one that is firm for now. He's an everlasting rock, which means now, tomorrow, and the days to come. He will forever be a rock that we can depend on. So when this world wants to shift and wants to shake up, our peace does not move. Because our situation is not dictator of our peace. God is dictative of our peace because our, our peace is not the absence of the situation, but the presence of God in the situation. So do not let the world dictate how you feel. Do not let the world dictate how you act. Let your faith in God because you trust in him and you keep your mind firm on him. Be your peace. Romans 15, 33. Now let the God of peace be with you all. Let the God of peace be with you all. You have the decision. Will you keep your mind dependent on the Lord and his perfect peace? Or will you put your faith and your trust in the world and allow your, 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 your peace to, to move and be, be not abundant? Because God, Christ said that he wanted to give us life and life more abundantly. But so many of us are satisfied satisfied with this life that we have here on earth this temporary life when God wants to give us a life far beyond what this world can give us let the Lord be our peace for peace is not found in our situations but in the God who stands firm in our situations let us pray dear God we worry not about what the world says or what it offers. Our situations are not dictative of our peace. It is you, God, who gives us strength. It is you, God, who we can rely on. And so we stand firm, Lord God, in faith, trusting and believing in you, Lord God, to take us further than we can take ourselves. We say that we love you and we thank you. We glorify thy name on high, God, and give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Hey man, y'all enjoyed that vlog. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I pray you enjoyed the vibe, man. Hey, now live it. Young and winning, move straight out of state, ain't coming back. They call me Alex at the crib, but they be on the track. My homie Dorsey saying that it's me, but he the Mac. The shorty call me Chester, she.